Hello and welcome back to Rara's Ventures Visiting Locations. If you'd like to help support Rara's Ventures, please hit that subscribe button as that will really help support what we are doing. Today we are visiting Bluebell Railway to share with you what to expect whilst visiting. I'm now going to share a little bit about Bluebell Railway, which I have quoted from their website so I give you the right information before we begin. The volunteer-run Bluebell Railway was the UK's first preserved standard gauge passenger railway, reopening part of the Lewis to East Grinstead line of the old London Brighton and South Coast Railway in 1960. Since then, it has developed into one of the largest tourist attractions in Sussex, yet it remains true to its objectives of the preservation for postery of the country branch line. Its steam locomotives, coaches and good stock, signalling systems, stations and operating practices. The society and thus its trustees and members own a majority shareholding in the railway, a not-for-profit company, and set the overall policy of the railway. The Blue Bear Railway has grown through its, the strengths of its members which now totals over 10,000. As the railway continues to develop there is a need for more members and volunteers to achieve its aims and objectives. So for me this brings back lots of memories as when I was younger my granddad used to bring myself and my sister up here regularly so it would be interesting to see what has changed and stayed the same. Now we are here to share with you what the accessibility is like for people with visible and non-visible disabilities and we're lucky enough to get on one of the carriages that has been adapted for people who use a wheelchair and that is booked in for 11 and I have brought my own wheelchair along with me so we are able to show you how accessible it is as we go around Bluebell Railway. So let's carry on. We are now visiting the Steamworks. I'm now going to share some information about the Steamworks, which I've quoted from the website, so I give you the right information. Situated in the locomotive shed on Platform 1 Steamworks, uses touchscreen display, information boards, and interactive elements to bring the science and machines of steam to life. The star of the show is an interactive model of the locomotive based on our very own Terra-class locomotive, Stephanie, as featured in the Thomas Tank Engine book series. The special engine features a display showing how the engine boiler works and, as an added bonus, a special driving experience simulator in the cab enables you to experience what it's like to drive Stephanie on the Bluebell Railway.
all that I'm about to read you is quoted from their website so I give you the right information. I'm going to now share some information about each station as we weren't able to stop at any of the stations because of COVID. So I'm just going to read a little about each station to share with you. Hopefully this will all be open up soon and you will be able to stop at the stations to have a little nosy around. The first station is Sheffield Park. Sheffield Park is one of four stations at Bluebell Railway. Sheffield Park Station is from late Victorian to 1923, pre-grouping and representing the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. Only half a mile away from the seat of Lord Sheffield, the station was primarily built to serve Lord Sheffield who owned the large house and estate about a mile away. Sheffield Park and Garden is now a National Trust property and within easy walking distance of the station. Today the station has been restored in the style of Brighton era in the 1880s. The second station is Halstead Keene Station. Keene Station was built in 1882 by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. It was a large junction station in the 1930s with a line branching off to Haywards Heath via Organding. Today the station has been restored to the Southern Railway period mid-1920s. The station is particularly popular with film and television companies and uses filming locations for Downtown Abbey, The Women in Black and The Muppets Most Wanted. Also, when you get off at this station, you can view the, you can view the carriage and wagon viewing gallery, elephant fan indoor soft play, Model Railway and King George V Buffet where you can get a nice cup of tea or a little snack. The third stop is King's Colt Station. It was built in 1882 by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway regarded as the most tranquil and picturesque station. King's Colt has been restored to the British Railways period mid-1950s. The station was known as being one of the quietest stations on the Brighton network, only serving a few houses with the closest village of Turners Hill, about three miles away. The station did boost a large timber yard resulting in goods traffic, being the most important activity at King's Colt. Today the station boosts colourful flower beds and children's playground and is the pride of the station staff and, and the friends of King's Colt volunteer group that looks after King's Colt for all to see. And at this station you have the children's play area, goods yard and the well house. The fourth station, East Grinstead Station. Back in 1960, Bluebell Railway only owned and ran from Sheffield Park to a halt just before Halstead Keynes. But after reconnecting to East Grinstead in 2013, we can welcome engines by rail for special occasions and passengers can come by mainland to East Grinstead and walk just one minute along the path to Bluebell Railway. At East Grinstead, watch the locomotive uncouple and then run round to the other end of the train to recouple to the carriages. At East Grinstead station there is a car parking for disabled badge holders only, toilet facilities including accessible and baby changing facilities are available. There is also a buffet and a souvenir shop. So we are now at the museum and as you will see as we go around it's a lot bigger than it first looks. I am going to read out some information which I have quoted from the website. So here is a little bit about the museum, the accredited museum. Our accredited museum is open on platform 2 when trains are running and is well worth a visit. Inside visitors can explore the story of Bluebell Railway, which begins at the Lewis and East Quinstead Railway. Inside visitors can explore the story of Bluebell Railway, which began as the Lewis and East Quinstead Railway in 1882, being taken over by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway a year later. 
It also outlines how railways developed from the horse-drawn railways of the 1600s to steam locomotives and then the electric trains. So we have come to the end of our visit. We had such an amazing day today visiting Bluebell Railway. It's brought back so many memories for me. There is so much here to see and do. It's accessible for all disabilities, visible and invisible. I would definitely come along for a visit. And if there is anything that you are concerned about, please contact them as they are friendly and willing to help as much as they can. We would like to say a massive thank you to Bluebell Railway for letting us come along today to visit, to share with others what to expect whilst visiting. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to Hubby for doing the filming today and thank you to the subscribers for watching and supporting the channel. I wouldn't be able to do this without your support. If you'd also like to help support Rara's Ventures, please hit that subscribe button. That really helps support what we are doing. As you know, we're trying to build the channel up. If there is somewhere that you'd like to visit and we haven't been to yet, please leave a comment down below or email me or contact me on one of my social media platforms. All the links are down below. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed this short film of Bluebell Railway and we look forward to seeing you next time with Rara's Adventures. Take care and lots of love. Bye!